Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla, and I am a middle school art teacher. So, um, a little bit new if you have been here for a while for me, but I am actually loving every second of it, so that is exciting. So, I had every intention on doing a day in my life today, but I woke up 20 minutes before I had to leave. Not, not a proud moment. So with that being said, I'm going to film just a regular vlog today and do a day in my life tomorrow. So, Anywho, um, uh, I have prep for the next two hours. Normally I don't have this long of a prep, but one of my LLI students is quarantined right now, so I have a pretty long break. And it'll actually be like that for the next eight days now, so gonna be interesting. Anywho, um, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do over break and I'll show you everything. Yesterday's vlog was like so short so I want to make this one a lot longer. I think I'm gonna answer a few of your guys' questions. Um, I had some people comment on some videos that had questions so I want to answer those for you and just get some things done. So thank you guys for being here. I hope that you guys are having a great Thursday. It is January 28th and let's just get right into the vlog. So something I thought I would share with you that our principal makes us do, and I actually think it is a great idea, um, is whenever you post an assignment, we use PowerSchool at my school, so whenever you post one in the little description, you have to put a link to either like the resource, um, an example of how it should be done, and things like that so that if a parent were to ever question a student's grade, you could, all they have to do is go to that link and see kind of an example of it. So what I do is I always make an example of the artwork myself and then I just take a picture of it, put it on my Pinterest and then put the link in there to that. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. It's pretty simple, but I'm still gonna show you. All right, so I have a picture on my phone so I go to Pinterest and I click the plus up here, go to create a pin. I just go to the picture I just took and then I will normally give it a title. Um, so I'm going to make this one text line example because that's what it's called. And then I go to next and then I pin it to my teaching board. So it's on there. So then I go to Pinterest on my computer, go to the link, copy it, go to PowerSchool, uh, sorry. Then I go to PowerSchool, go to the link over here, paste it, and then for my display text, I just put um, what the project is called and then put rough draft. So this is what it ends up looking like. And then I just hit okay. It's under the description. Sorry, I'm not like showing you too far over because my students' names are on there. And then I go to save and close. So we actually used PowerSchool at my old school as well. So um, I'm very familiar with it and I have never done that before but when I was told that we had to do that I was like that is actually a really good idea so that if you do ever have parent um, complaints or just like parent questioning something you can say the examples on there check it out and then this is what your student did or what your kid did so I just think it's a really good idea for all subjects I wanted to share it with you now I forgot some stuff in my car so I need to go get that and then I'm gonna get ready for the next couple of class periods just have everything out because we are starting our final drafts in every class today so I'm gonna have all the stuff ready to go for that okay I went to my car and I have a Dollar General haul just kidding but kind of not <laughs> so okay I'll put that over here so from Dollar General I got these sour gummy worms for one of my artist of the weeks. I got these sour belts for one of my artist of the weeks. I got Skittles and honey buns for my student of the week. And I got 
oatmeal cream pies and cosmic brownies because the little Debbie stuff was three for five dollars. Um, so I just got these two things to put in my little snack bin or tray, I guess. I basically just give the students one of these if we um, if they do a good job or we play Kahoot or something or if they're just like, you know, super hungry, I have some of these for them. But so I'm just going to put these two in here and then get my student of the week and artist of the week notes on here and ready to go so when they come in, they're all good. So here are all of my materials to complete these. So I'm just going to show you the finished products. All right, let's show you what we have. So on this note, I put Farah, your pop art was, was so good. I'm really proud of your work. On this one, I put Madison, your silhouette was amazing. I'm really proud of your work. You won artist of the week, so I wanted to drop this off for you. Um, this particular student is quarantined right now, so I'm going to drop it off in her mailbox today after school. This one says, Malia, your scuffy got chosen for artist winner. Great job. And then this one is the big winner and it is my student of the week. So he got honey bun Skittles and then there's a note underneath here. So that is completed and ready to go, which I'm excited about because this takes a little bit to do. So yay. All right. So I just opened up all of my canvases. All of them are individually packaged, which is honestly kind of annoying so I went ahead and unopened or unopened I guess I opened all of these so that we didn't have to waste time doing it when the students get in here this is for eighth grade so then I'm going to get like the painting materials out as well all right everything is ready for eighth grade I have the canvases and all of the paint opened and ready to go um, paint brushes are over here in this drawer this is how the old art teacher had it so I just left it but there are a ton. It's not organized. Um, but anyways, it's okay. So basically, I have about 10 minutes before my next kiddo comes in for LLI. We are starting a new book today. I'll show you what it is, and then I'm just going to relax for the next 10 minutes and um, get ready for her. So we are reading Jackie Ha Ha My Life is a Joke by James Patterson. It's a chapter book. My hands are all... <laughs> covered in paint but yeah I'm excited to read this with her I'll think of some activities as we go but today we are just going to read so I will see you guys at lunch okay so it is lunch time the first half of my day has gone by like super slow today but it's fine now I'm just going to get my lunch eat it and then get ready for next period which is sixth grade so it shall be fun hopefully um what's I gonna say I think that's about it really the I'll show you what the eighth graders did um today and what we did basically they had to paint the background of their canvases for the guitar lyric painting um we'll start drawing the guitar tomorrow but they went ahead and painted their background we obviously have to wait for it to dry so after we did that I let them go outside just to have like a free day today so that's what we did today the lunch I brought today is avocado toast. So I already toasted those, put them in this cute little reusable Ziploc baggie that is from Target, I think. I got them a while ago. Um, I have my, or my, yeah, this is like avocado spread. And then I have buffalo sauce that I put on there as well. Normally I'll put like onions and stuff like that on it, but obviously at school it's kind of hard to do all that. So I'm just having it like that. And then I'm going to finish my mini water and yeah. So for 
here are their canvases. So they're eight by 10 canvases. They got to choose whatever color they wanted. Some people did like galaxy. It looks really cool. Um, we have this one. We have this one. Some people did multiple colors. A lot of them are at the very top because it dries faster on the top. So I'll show you those later or That one's cool back there. She did like marble. That's sixth grade. And there's some down there, but just painted the backgrounds today. And as you know, I always do a project with them as well so that I have them for um, when I do the next class of eighth graders. So I have an example. So this one is mine. I just did three different colors of blue. I wanted it to look a little bit more blended, but I think this will look cool too. So that is mine. I might do like the galaxy look as well, or I don't know yet. I might add something else to it. It's the completed avocado toast. It's kind of hard to do at school, but it doesn't look appetizing. Promise it's good though. And I'm not sure how many points it is. This is like the Ezekiel bread. Uh, hot sauce is obviously zero, and the avocado spread will probably be points. I'm not sure, but I'm doing Weight Watchers Purple Plan. If you're curious, I'll figure out what the points are and put it on the screen. Hello. So it is the end of the day and I have about 15 minutes before I can leave. So I wanted to just show you an update on the projects and yeah, that's really about it. Um, I gave my student of the week and uh, artist of the week their little prizes um so that was fun the student of the week was so sweet he was like and like almost reached in for a hug and then he's a seventh grader and then he was like if i could give you a hug right now i would i was like oh we can air hug um he was super sweet though he kind of i felt like he i don't know he was just cute and uh, anyways let's show you the projects like the progress of them and then i I was gonna answer some of your guys' questions. I might do like a pamper chit chat with me this weekend, uh, like I used to do previously, and answer them that way, possibly. Uh, we'll see. I don't really know. But I'm really close to 3,000. Well, not really close, but I mean, I'm like 400, I think, away from 3,000 subscribers. So I just wanted to thank you guys. Um, I really appreciate you. You guys are awesome. Thanks for sticking with me even through my long breaks i appreciate it um but yeah let's show you my updated progress for the projects all right so this is sixth grade they went ahead and painted their backgrounds and then did their tree and heart so we have that one they're all like basically drying we have this one i don't really know if any are up there there might be all the way down there. Um, but yeah, those are sixth grade. So they're coming out nice. I already showed you eighth grade backgrounds, I believe. And then fifth grades honestly didn't turn out great. I learned my lesson that um, next time, so they did like candy hearts. It's like there's one of them. They're not awful. I just, next time, I will probably do it on a canvas. I think that's the moral of the story because using paint, especially like acrylic, it obviously bends. So I was not too thrilled with those, but they, that was my fault because I used paper. Um, so yeah. And then seventh grades, I think are gonna be super cool. So they're doing like the text line with a quote and then coloring it in. Let me show you one that has gone kind of far. Let's see. So like here's one. So cute, right? Love it. So they have a quote and they have to touch the top and the bottom of each line. This says you don't grow when you are comfortable and then they just fill in the background. So that is cute. 
This one's cute. Practice makes perfect. Hard work beats talent. This one's, I'm gonna tell him he needs to, there should be no white back there. Um, Cause you really want it to stand out. And it only stands out if you have like crisp coloring on there. But I like his little tree that he did. You miss every shot you don't take. Cute. Your mistakes don't define you. That's cute. Oh, no, they're turning out super cute. He did it completely wrong. Life is a box of chocolates. You never know what you, you're you going to get. Um, so he's going to have to redo that tomorrow. He may not be thrillable. I don't even know if he's going to care, actually. I won't, I won't make him redo it. I'll give him the option. He's not going to get a great grade, though. Really, the only thing that I graded on is if you follow directions and um, effort, basically. So, this one says, with memories, not dreams, I think. I don't know. It's cute, though. This one says, don't judge a book by its cover. That's cute. So, yeah, they are turning out cute. I think they're going to look really nice once they are completely finished. Um... So yeah, they will look good, I bet. But seventh grade definitely, I think, is the most artistic in my opinion. But um, I don't know, sixth grade is pretty, uh, probably actually eighth and seventh, which obviously they're older, um, but they are very, very artistic. Even the boys, which I love because a lot of times middle school boys don't want to put forth a ton of effort. Um, and their art project but that being said I'm going to drop this off at my student's house um, she lives actually really close to me so I'm going to drop that off today and that's really about it I'm probably gonna get out of here right when I can so in like five minutes I um, have to turn off my projector close my computer I'm leaving this room a hot mess today, but I plan to come in early tomorrow, so I'll be able to do everything. I'll be able to clean up then, and plus I have like a two hour break, like you guys already know, so there's kind of no point in cleaning up now. Anyways, let's, what time is it? 2.54. So I can leave in six minutes, and I'm totally going to take advantage of that. For those of you that don't know, I am also a travel softball coach and we actually have a private tryout tonight at 7 o'clock, so I'm going to get home, get a snack, and relax before the private tryout. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog, I think it's going to be longer than the last one hopefully, um, but if you did give it a thumbs up, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, down, up, I don't really know, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!